Hey guys, back with another COL video and today we are going to look at achievements. So that's what I've been getting most requests of is achievements. How do you get that many achievement points? How can you, what's the easiest way, what's the fastest way and why is achievements good? So I'm going to tell you guys everything about achievements in this video. So let's start off with showing you guys what, why achievements are important. So the achievements will give you guys different attributes. So if you click on achievements right here, and you click on the middle of the symbol, like I'm light, so I click on light. So we scroll all the way up, so you'll see here, all different achievements will give you different kind of set bonus, uh, I mean bonuses, attributes like this. So when you reach 100 achievement, you'll be bronze one, give you 20 HP, Damage in bronze 2, potion effect in bronze 3, uh, HP in silver 1, and so on, you see? And then you start getting like crit bonuses and crit damage and skill level and so on. Like you can get a lot of nice attributes for your, uh, for your character and uh, that's why achievements are so important. So look at all these things, like it's, uh, it's crazy. Like they all combine and... Uh, you can see all these achievement attributes I've obtained from achievements is crazy. So now let's go through what is the easiest way to get achievement points. So what you want to do is you want to go to achievements again, like here, and then you want to start looking down your list. All right. So you have, this is the overview showing you what, uh, what's your total achievement right here as minus 7,275 points. Out of 7,500, I'm light. And you can see here how far you are in the different sections. And then you can look more into the section over here. So you will have like bestiary, which is guild hunt. You have faction, which is like golden, like your PvP faction. Now the fa thing, cool thing with faction is when you level up your faction, you will also get stats. So you want to do that also. Always level up your faction, which I said in my... Um, I think it was uh, the last video I made, I think, or the gold making video. And then you have quests, uh, which will give you, so you have the main quest line, which will give you achievements. You have, as you can see, this is like the main quest line. So you will get that automatically by doing the yellow quest. Now you have your reputation, all right? So look at your reputation task over here. So let's go through this first, all right? So all this, all these achievements are based on your reputation. So what you want to do is, here you have reputation tasks. As you can see, even though you can only do two a day, I complete all of them every single day because there's, there are achievements uh, which are like, say it's like you have to do 50 strange events, you have to do 50 preparation quests. So even though I, I don't get anything from them, I do them for the achievements. And then we move down to raid, all right? So raids, like, all different raids will give you achievements by completing them, but then there are some others that, like, will give you extra, like, you have to look. So by being captured and grilled alive in the Dark Galleon by the cook, you'll get an achievement. Fell under the last boss, Scar Plains, Laser will give you achievement. So all these small, small things. So look, there's an achievement I haven't done yet, and that's get involved in Soul Eater Vortex, which happens on the first boss, you have to die by the Soul Vortex. So all these small... Look at your achievements here, you go through all of them. If you want to do it easier, instead of clicking all, you click on incomplete and you'll see which one you're missing. So I'm missing this one, I'm missing these two live and die together as the red or green string in Ancestral Altar. You see all these different achievements I still haven't done yet. And then you have the Fort Heroics. So, well I should do this one too. So there's a lot of achievements even I haven't done. Then you have Arenas, you right? You can do, you get, let's go back to Received. I mean all. So this is what it, it will show you. Like you can collect 1 million honor. I'm almost there. I'll get achievement there. Arena. Uh, arena is 1v1 obviously. 3v3. You see this? Historical ranking. And so like all these different. Look under every single one. And you will find achievements that you haven't done. For sure. Like and some of them are very easy too. Like let me show you guys some easy ones. Like mo mo probably most of you haven't done. So you go to social, all right, share, 
these achievements right here, this is easy, like how much is this, 30 points? Easy 30 points. All you have to do is, you take a photo in the game, but you use the setting button right here, take a photo, like this, take a photo, you share it to Facebook, and you can do this like, you have to share the photo like 10 times for an achievement, then you have to sh take a p photo in all these different places. Very easy achievement to get, so you guys should do that. So you have all this, like the chat, you know why people are writing those dots in global? Many of you are probably wondering. Why are people writing those dots in world chat? It's because there's uh, achievements, a lot of achievements actually, to write in the world channel. So people just write a dot, get eight, like if I'm 17, I write a dot, I'll get 18. And just do that a thousand times to get all these achievements, which is a lot. That's like 50, 60 achievements right there. All right, so you have other easy achievements like adding friends, giving gifts. To, to your friends, uh, you know, your guild mem guild has 250 members. Like, there's a lot of these small achievements. Now, uh, what if you want to be like, if you want to go hard on achievements, there are many other achievements you can do. Like, if you click on events, so this is probably the one of the hardest achievements to do. This is like hardcore grind. So this is doing 50 of every single event. So you know, map events, you can do two and one battle of relics every day. But once you're done, you won't get a reward, but you can still join events and you can grind them out like 50 barbecue events, 50 strange events, 50 crystal mine. It takes a lot of time, a lot of grind, but you can help your guildies out while doing this. Just do massive event farm. Uh, you have elemental invasion. You keep killing elementals over and over again. Like you will have to kill 500 elementals. Like even though you don't get rewards anymore, you keep killing and keep killing them. You know, you have like what else do you have? Yeah, and then you have the growth adventure. This is what a lot of people do. So the good thing with this, this is what I was going to show you guys. So here you have to kill monsters, right? 100, 1000, 10,000 monsters. So how are you going to kill those? Well, it's very simple. If you're logging off or going, uh, going to sleep or uh, you're going to go to work or anything, very simple. You find the mob you want to farm, you click on, you go to achievements, you go to growth, go to adventure, you find which one you haven't done. And then all you have to do is Get to this place, like if you want to kill dryads, click on the, you see the little television screen on the little mini map? This will start automatic combat and it will kill mobs for you while you can't play. And that is how people get 10,000 kills. So I have completed all 76, which is crazy. Yes, I know. No life, like next level. But yeah, so all of this, like there's a bunch of achievements and there's many easy ones that you guys can do like in a second, in a, in a minute. So go check out these achievements and they will give you some nice stats. And if you like looking at rankings and stuff, you can try rank up in Like if you go to achievement charts right here, like it's fun to compete with other players to get achievements and so on. Now I have stopped like, going for achievements because I've gotten to a point where my next, my next achievement right here will give me only potion cooldown minus 5%, which isn't that important to me. And then the next one is really good, but that's gonna take me a while, so I have I stopped going hard on achievements uh, for now. But there's a bunch of achievements. Just go through your achievement chart, go through each and every one of them. You will see there's many achievements you haven't done, like the social one. I just showed you the guild, like being becoming as your guild leader to make your guild elder vice leader, just so you can get an achievement. Like there's so many it's easy achievements, guys. Just check them out. And um, when you're AFK or you have to go and. Uh, do something else. Put on auto battle. Find out which mob you haven't me haven't killed. Find out which mob will give like you're close to reaching achievements on. You go to that place. Click on auto battle, and it will do everything for you. Like that's why I like about this game so much. A lot of people complain that it's a lot of auto battle, but the auto battle helps you out a lot of with a lot of things like achievements, like trial quests, and all the boring stuff. So I like I like uh, auto battle, and I like this achievement. It's really cool. You also have those. So you also have something else, which is first kill achievements, which is pretty cool. You guys probably seen them. Let me show you guys real quick. Yeah, raids. All right. So as you can see here, fastest kill in the server, first kill of the server. Like these achievements doesn't give you any points, but they're pretty cool to have. Like it shows you who's the f first, who has completed the these raids uh, first in the whole server, who has done the fastest kill. Uh, achievement and there's a lot of other cool achievements. There's some hidden achievements too. So let me show you guys some hidden achievements. If you go to growth, adventure, so just a hidden achievement called Dark One. 
you can see it says hidden it won't show up until you have actually completed it so there's like this one i think there's another one for trials you have to complete all these different trials and there's like a lot of hidden achievements i don't know i only know two or three of them but if you guys find out any cool hidden achievements let me know in the comment below because i want to know about hidden achievements so guys i hope this was helpful for you guys looking to farm achievements and um, get that extra stat uh, or if you just like you doing it for fun so make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't and thanks so much for watching guys